Hey guys, this series is going to teach you in depth how the different layer blend modes work in Photoshop. In this video, I'm going to explain how the blend modes in the darken group work, including multiply, color burn, linear burn, darken, and darker color. Let's get started. In plain English, these modes will combine the selected layer with the layers beneath it to make things darker. First, we'll look at multiply, which is one of the most commonly used blend modes and also one of the simplest to understand. If I select my text and change the blend mode from normal to multiply, you'll notice that it gets even darker, but you can also see the background through the text. If I change the color of the text to an even lighter brown, and then toggle between normal and multiply, you can better see how it basically adds the darkness of each layer together, resulting in a darker color than either the text or the background has when they're viewed alone. When using the multiply blend mode, imagine each layer is a transparent sheet of paper. If you stacked two sheets on top of each other, the overlapping dark areas would become even darker. If I change the blend mode to color burn, you'll see that it results in a look with more contrast than multiply, along with more color saturation. If I change the blend mode to linear burn, it'll result in a darker look than multiply, but be less saturated and have less contrast than color burn. Now, layer opacity and fill opacity will look slightly different when using color burn and linear burn, so you'll need to experiment to get the exact look that you want. Typically, decreasing the fill opacity will look better, so I suggest that you start there. The darken blend mode works like this. If the pixels in the selected layer are darker than the layers beneath it, they'll be kept in the image. If the pixels in the selected layer are lighter than the pixels in the layers beneath, then the pixels underneath will show through. You can see when I changed the text to darken that most of it shows up in the lighter parts of the image like the sky. But when the layers beneath it are darker, like the ocean and some of the sand, the text layer is hidden. If I set the blend mode of this circle to darken, you'll see that any part of the circle that is darker than the underlying layers shows up, but the parts of the circle that are lighter than the background are hidden. The only difference between the darken and the darker color blend modes is that darken is applied using separate calculations for each of the three red, green, and blue channels, while darker color is applied using a composite of the three color channels. It's one of those things that's kind of hard to grasp when it's explained, and only makes a slight difference in real world use. You'll just have to play with it to see which one looks best. The best way to see how each blend mode works is to experiment with your own files. Check out the other videos in the Photoshop Blend Mode series to learn more. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.